In this video, we will discuss the first order kinetics. Let us consider this chemical reaction or is the reactant. This reactant gives a product. Now we define the first order kinetics. Um, the reaction in which uh, the overall rate of the reaction, the rate of the reaction can be expressed mathematically minus d of r divided by dt is proportional to the first power of the concentration of the reactants only. Mathematically it can be represented like this. This type of reaction is known as a first order reaction. Next we see the integrated rate equation for first order reaction. Let us consider this uh, round bottom flask contains R number of uh, reactant molecules. It's a uh, in the initial state its uh, time is zero and its concentration is R zero. After a particular period of time, the reactant molecules are converted into products. Now we can see how the reactant molecules are changed into products by changing the color. This is one of the indication to form the products. In the final state, its time is T, um, reactant molecule is R. In the initial time, um, the concentration of the reactant is R0. No need to convert all the reactant molecules into product. It means in between the reaction also we can find the rate of the reaction using the initial and final state values of time and the initial concentration and the concentration at the time. Now we see the mathematical form. Now we remove this proportionality by introducing the proportionality constant k. Now we bring the similar terms on same side. Next we integrate this equation. We get this form. Then we bring this uh, negative value from left side to right side. The integration values are L and R is equal to minus kt plus c. He, here uh, c is the integration constant and the initial time t is equal to 0, r is equal to r0. r0 is the concentration of the reactant at the initial time. That is initial concentration of the reactant. Now we substitute this r value on the first equation. So we get ln r0 is equal to minus k into 0 plus c. Here uh, k term will be 0. So we get uh, c value. Now we substitute this c value again the same first equation. So we have ln r is equal to minus kt plus ln r0. Now we rearranging this equation. We have ln r minus ln r0 is equal to minus kt. This ln r minus ln r0 we can write like uh, ln r by r0 is equal to minus kt. Now we bring this uh, t term into left hand side we have 1 by t ln r by r0 is equal to minus k. Now we can write k as k is equal to minus 1 by t ln r by r0. Now we remove this uh, negative term by changing this equation. So we have k is equal to 1 by t ln r0 divided by r. k is the uh, first order rate constant. r is the concentration of the reactant at time t. r0 is the initial concentration of the reactant. This is uh, one form of uh, first order uh, rate equation. Next we see the another form. Now we are rearranging this equation. We have uh, 
kt is equal to ln r0 minus ln r. Let us consider this is the second equation. Now again we rearrange uh, the second equation. We have ln r0 minus kt is equal to ln r. That is by multiplying the second equation the sign will be changed so we have the third equation as ln r0 minus kt is equal to ln r at t1 time the equation 3 becomes ln r1 is equal to minus kt1 plus ln r0 let us consider this is the fourth equation at t2 time the equation 3 becomes ln r2 is equal to minus k t2 plus ln r0 let us consider this is the fifth equation r1 is the concentration of reactant at t1 time r2 is the concentration of the reactant at t2 time now we subtract the uh, fifth equation from fourth equation so we have ln r1 minus ln r2 is equal to this one by simplifying we get minus k t1 plus ln r0 plus k t2 minus ln r0 by cancel out in this uh, ln r0 we have k t2 minus k t1 by taking out k as a common k into t2 minus t1 now we rearranging this equation we have k is equal to 1 by t2 minus t1 ln r1 divided by r2 this is second form of the first order rate equation next we see another form of first order rate equation uh, this is uh, we already seen this is the first form here we convert this ln into log by multiplying 2.303 so we get k is equal to 2.303 divided by t log r0 divided by r here uh, r0 is the concentration of reactant at uh, time 0 R is the concentration of the reactant at time t. First we see the table column. Uh, using uh, this table column we can make another form of rate of reaction. The time representation, concentration of all, concentration of product. That is, um, if uh, t is equal to 0, uh, concentration of uh, reactant uh, that is R0 is A that time concentration of uh, product is 0 at T is equal to T time uh, concentration of uh, product is X so we can uh, find out the concentration of the reactant uh, subtracting uh, concentration of product from concentration of the uh, reactant at initial time that is a minus x uh, at t time uh, we have uh, concentration of reactant so from this table we have uh, r0 and r value that is initial concentration and uh, concentration of uh, reactant at t time by substituting this uh, concentration of R values in the equation, we have uh, 2.303 divided by T log A by A minus X. We cancel out these units, we get K is equal to 2.303 divided by T log A by A minus X. This is another form of uh, first order rate equation.